Hey YouTube, it's Daniel here. Just um, sitting in a quiet room with my dog. She may bark, because she just barked at somebody. She's got the ball actually. She probably wants me to throw it. She's chewing my shoe at the moment. <clears throat> my last vlog was mentioning shows that are really good to watch. And I think I mentioned all the ones I watch. If I if there's any that you suggest, please write them in the comment section or send me an email, neoluckraj at gmail.com. I'll maybe put that in the um, description of this video, blog, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's probably better, just there. And um, yeah, so we talked about shows, which I like. And actually, there's a movie that's out today, and it's going to be one of the books that I mentioned, because I'm going to talk about books. And the Vampire Academy series is really good. Rochelle Mead is the author. So there's, I don't know, about six, seven books. Then there's a spin-off series. Bloodlines is the series. It, again, by Rochelle Mead, of course. And that's really good as well. I think they've had three books so far in that one. Still going though. And so there's a little bit of crossover with the characters. Well, yeah, it's a spin off anyway. So I really enjoy that. Um, the True Blood books. So I, I actually don't read as, you know, holding the book in front of you, read kind of thing. I listen to audio books. So all the books that I've read, they're really good narrators. Rochelle Mead, her books are narrated usually most times by Gina Parker. So a really good job. I think it's, or maybe that's, Gina Parker is the one who <clears throat> does the True Blood books. Yeah, she does the True Blood books. And her voice is the same as Suki Stackhouse, on, you know, who is Anna Paquin, on the True Blood show on TV. So that's really good. You know, they've matched that really well, the narration. And Stephen Fry does the Harry Potter books. There's two. He does a, the whole series. And also Jim Dow does the whole series. I mean, I like Stephen Fry. He, he does a fabulous job. Jim Dow does a great job as well. But uh, my preference is Stephen Fry. But you should try both, maybe. If you like me, I've read the Harry Potter books a few times. So, um... <laughs> That's my dog, just there. Um, yeah, so for a change, I'll listen to the Jim Dale version of the audio audiobooks. <clears throat> um, yeah, the Godfather books of the Godfather, which is um, covers the movies one and two, I suppose. And it's the movie is so good, the Godfather. It comes very close to the book which movies don't often do because of time constraints, etc. But as you know, the Godfather movie was really long. You know, they didn't do everything. They had to leak out a bit. But, yeah, I'm down here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... I'm trying to think, you know, obviously the Da Vinci Code, if you haven't read that, you should read that. It's awesome. Tomorrow When the War Began series of books by John Marsden. It's really good. They've actually done more than the first in the original seven there's more ellie's story ellie's main character um yeah continues on a few after that uh, i'm trying to think what else oh, darren shan awesome books there's a series called darren shan of 12 small books it's vampire is the theme i suppose then there's the demon Arta series which I don't know how many books have you heard that he's finished that series yet or not. That's really good. Um, yeah, I've read that. The yeah, the Rochelle Mead books, awesome. The True Blood books. I mean, my sister read the True Blood books or some of them and she didn't enjoy it. But as an audio book with a really good narrator, it was excellent. They were excellent. You know, I think about 12 books. Oh, yeah, Orson Scott Card. Every single thing he's written is awesome. 
and Ender's Saga. All the books in that I've read a few times. And Alvin Maker. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. Those oh, the Scott cards written. I've read them all. Um, Earth something series. Yeah, they're all good anyway. So go for your life. You'll have a lot of fun with those books. Anyway, that's just a few I've mentioned. I'm sure there's more. Maybe I should write a note just to, you know, brainstorm a bit. But I've mentioned heaps for you to try and to see how you like them. Let me know what you think. And let me know if there's any books that you can recommend to me that I would download or acquire the audio books of, I will, and listen to them. And I'm quite quick at reading. <clears throat> The good thing about audiobooks is you can listen in the dark, you can listen while you're doing the cooking or the washing up, you can listen at any time. And they're in between a movie and a book, and which is really good. As Again, if the narrator is good, the book is awesome. Okay, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Books. See you later.